the fifth today I like to compare the Pulse 5 versus the UB Plus. So this means that it's finally time to see how those performance are. I did notice if you use the Pulse 5 and I mentioned many times before, it's not a bad speaker, but it's just not my favorite. And this doesn't mean that it's like not even performing okay. It's just not performing for its price. And with, yeah, before we go to the audio samples, my microphone did pick up the treble of the Pulse 5 a lot. So this does mean you hear a big difference in audio recording, comparing not the Pulse 5 with this one. But this doesn't mean that the Pulse 5 is better. The treble boost is really a little bit of an issue with the ABL speakers lately. And this does give other speakers in audio recordings a little bit of a different sound because the difference is so big. I will not say that the UB Plus is perfect, definitely not. I do think that the treble could have been maybe a little bit higher up, but this has to do with the treble having not like the highest treble notes, but it's not a bad speaker, definitely not. Especially for people that just like to have more warmer sound, this is definitely a bit better. And especially the bass performance on this one, not in this room necessarily, but especially in the bigger room, is pretty cool. It's powerful, it works very well, it can go pretty deep actually for how small the speaker is. It's pretty cool. And yes, with the Pulse 5 you get the LED lighting and a cooler design, I will be honest. But the overall build quality is not much better on the Pulse 5. I even prefer this one a little bit because it's more rugged design. With the Pulse 5 really, this is the second one I have because the first one I dropped and it was really like broken, completely broken. Yeah, so Pulse 5 is not great for durability, even though it's waterproof. Without further ado, here are some samples, but as mentioned before, don't mind the treble boost in the audio recordings, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Thank you. 